Okay guys, so today we're going to be talking about the best substrate for your corn snake. So let's get straight into it. So the first substrate that we're looking at is the most basic one you can find, which is just paper. So what's good about it? Well, it's cheap, it's easy to replace if your snake poos on it. You just take out the piece that's like soiled, rip a piece off, put it in. Uh, it's easy to spot mites on, so if your snake's got snake mites, you can see them scurrying about on this and take action. And if your snake does have mites, it's hard for them to breed on. However, it does look quite bad, especially inked um, newspaper. It looks quite awful. Um, inked paper, again, it can be toxic if water gets on it and the ink leaks. It's not really enriching for your snake because you can't burrow in it and it does need regular replacing. So overall with paper I wouldn't really recommend it as a substrate because even though it is cheap it does need such regular replacing that it can probably become as expensive as any other substrate and the only case I'd say to use it is if you're using it non-inked and if you're using it with mites. But that's about it for this substrate, let's move on to the next one. The next substrates are actually so similar that I'm going to be talking about them in the same point and they are Aspen and Lignocell. The pros with these two substrates is that they look very good, they're very soft, they're very absorbent, they're good for burrows because the burrows stick, they're cheap when you buy them in bulk and they're not very bad if eaten, they're very easily passed. However, the, the cons with both of them is that they're easily picked up during feeding because they stick to mice very easily. Uh, when they're compacted by the snake, sort of slithering over it, they do look a bit bad then. Although that, you can just fluff it up, it's not too difficult. And some brands of Aspen are very coarse, which doesn't look nice. And it is slightly abrasive if you touch the sharp ends of it. Uh, I use the Exoterra snake bedding brand and it's actually not that dear. And um, it does look very good so I would recommend it. Overall I think Aspen and Lignocell are two very good substrates and if you aren't going to go with the next substrate I'm going to talk about then definitely go for one of these two. So the final substrate I'm going to discuss is a bioactive substrate. These generally consist of a soil component and then leaf litter on top as well as a drainage layer. I don't have one in place for my corn snake just yet, but I do have them in place for both my types of geckos and the same rules apply. So what are the pros of a bioactive substrate? Well, they look awesome, they look really natural and they're better than any other substrate in that respect. Uh, the self-cleaning because the custodians, the little invertebrates, they clean it. They allow burrows very well. Um, the it's actually good if they're eaten, if they're the ones I use, which are Arcadia's earth mixes. They allow for plant growth, so you don't have to have plastic plants, and in fact, it is better if you have real plants. And they're not at all abrasive. The only con that I could think of with this substrate is that they can be expensive because the bags are quite small, they're about 10 litres and then they're about £10 each. So if you had a great big corn snake cage, which I would recommend, then it is going to be quite expensive to fill. Now of course, I know some people are going to be sceptical because I've not got one of these substrates from a corn snake yet, but I know a lot of the points because my leopard gecko, for example, uh, with the eating it and digging it, he's had it for quite a while now and eating it there's absolutely no problem, he's passing it just fine um, and with burrowing he has created himself a little burrow so I'm sure a snake could do the same. So I hope that you did enjoy this JTB Reptiles video, I've tried to keep it nice and concise so that you can find out the information without me rabbiting on for ages. But yeah, I hope that you did enjoy it and if you're wondering about the substrate for your corn snake or similar king snakes or something like that, then this video has helped you out. So I'll see you in the next video, bye guys.